Welcome to ACN, the Liberation TV of Amazonia. My fellow Amazonians, this is Dr. Cho Ayaba. Uh, this coming Friday, uh, Namdi Kanu and myself will be having a, a joint press conference. Uh, the EPOP and the AEG of C have been engaged in some background discussions for the last one year or so. Now I know our people are always jittery when we engage in alliances. But I want to assure each and every one of you that in every alliance that we engage in, we do our homework. We analyze what will be important for us. We take strong steps to look at the consequences of those alliances. One of the mistakes we have made in our liberation struggle has been informed by the nature of our educational system. We were educated under a system that trained us to think for the interest of the West. What will not anger the West? What will be in the interest of the West. Even in determining whether armed struggle was necessary to resist Cameroon, we first thought about the interest of others. We thought about the ICC. We thought about the consequences. We never thought about the gains that it would bring to our liberation struggle. When the Mandelas rose up against South Africa, they knew this was a nuclear power country. They knew their friends. When they engaged with Cuba, they knew Cuba was a mortal enemy to the United States. And that that alliance will anger the Cubans. But the Mandela's thought about what interest it will bring for the South Africans. In every relationship, there are consequences. There are negatives. There are positives. But once you are able to determine that the positives outweigh the negatives, you should go for it. There will be consequences in everything you do, like in the armed resistance against Cameroon. Uh, people are being killed. But in the Pacific resistance, they were still being killed. The only difference is now we are also able to kill them. The Biafrans are our closest neighbors. When you look at the map of Nigeria, you look at the map of Cameroon. In the north of Nigeria, you have the Hausas and the Fulanese. They have an exit up into Niger. On the west, you have the Yorubas with an exit to Benin. Where within Benin, 53% are Yorubas. Up in the north, Majority also, a high percentage of Niger's are Fulanese and Hausas. And you come down south, the south and southeast, you have the Igbos. Their exit is either into the Atlantic Ocean or into Amazonia. And if you look at the relationship within our Ejagam axis and Diaz, close similarity. Why is it possible? For the Yorubas to build alliances into Benin, for the Hausas and Fulanis to build alliances into Niger, but it's problematic for the Igbos to build alliances into Amazonia. Why is it possible up in Cameroon the Nordis are able to build alliances with the Fulanis and Hausas in Nigeria? You know, those in the south. And, and, and East are able to build alliances with Central African Republic, Gabon, and others. 
but it's problematic for Ambazonia to build alliances across with the Igbos. Why is the interest of Nigeria more important than the survival of Ambazonia? Why is it possible that Nigerians can kidnap and rendition hundreds of our people and their interest is going to determine our own alliances? My fellow Ambazonians, we look at these things carefully. And I think in my last four years as leader of the AGOVC, we must take a radical approach in our liberation struggle. For four years, our people have been murdered. We have waited and watched the United Nations use words like we are concerned. We have watched the ICC bogged down by procedural issues while genocide is unfolding the full glare of the international system. Those we have thought could support us are showing concern without any real action against their partner in crime in Yaoundé. If we want to be free, we must depart from the conformity, the normalcy that informs our liberation ideology and develop an own ideology that with a radical departure from the marketization and liberalization stance that promotes the agenda of others over ours. The stability of the Gulf of Guinea cannot be built on the basis of injustice. It cannot be built on the basis of exploitation, rape, repression of the rights of people over the interests of foreign multinationals. We don't seek to attack anyone. In our struggle for liberation, we don't seek to stop other peoples from fighting for their right to exist. We seek to protect ourselves. It's a right to self-preservation. As well as I know, the Brafans have never stopped the Yorubas. Ambazonia, Biafra, and Yoruba are all members of UMPO. The Biafrans have never stopped the Yorubas. They've never stopped the Fulanis and Hausas to seek their right to self-determination. As I know, they only seek to preserve their own right to exist in their own neighborhood. And I think Ambazonia must seek alliances with nations and peoples who further their aspirations to be free from the rapacious policies of Cameroon and its external allies. That's what we must do. There are consequences in everything you do, good or bad. In our struggle to be free, we have weighed the options. And everything we do, every step we make, we do it for the best interest of Ambazonia. Our own interest as individuals and formation is far behind. Does this benefit Ambazonia? And I think in our detailed dis discussion going forward, we will make sure that everything we get into works well for you, the Ambazonian people. Follow your aspiration for a free homeland. The status quo cannot prevail on the perils of an unjust occupation. God bless you all. Welcome to ACN, the Liberation TV of Amazonia.